Harper on Dash Radio. We found new music and Phoebe Starr just joined us live in the studio. Welcome to We Found New Music, Phoebe. Hello, thanks for having me. What uh, song did you just play for us? I played my new song called Lavender Scars. Wow, well thank you so much for playing that for us. Tell us a little bit about the track. Uh, so Lavender Scars, it's actually um, a song that I had written uh, about a year ago for a really good friend of mine and <clears throat> I was worrying whether to release it actually because it's not like a big single, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. But I connected so much emotionally with the song um, and it felt so close to me. I wanted people to experience, I guess, more of that kind of songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, and so the song was written for a friend of mine who I met when, as her father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And she, <clears throat> it's a bit of a deep story, but she, <laughs> She and I became good friends and over the two years that I got to know her, her father slowly got worse and worse and so a lot of our relationship was kind of based on her dealing with her father as well. So um, anyway, it happened one day that he passed away and she wrote me a text message saying my dad finally died and um, I guess I haven't, I've experienced loss before but in this kind of way I just felt really like what am I meant to say to her? Like, this is so hectic. And it just felt like what I'd been taught to say all my life when something bad happens is like, oh, I'm really sorry. But because I was so close to her, it felt almost like wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. So I sat down and I was like, what am I meant to say? And I guess this song was me processing how um, I deal with not only my own grief, but someone else's grief. And so I wrote Lavender Scars for her, but I, it kind of came out in this way of me learning how to embrace, um, yeah, suffering. So it, it sounds like it's a really hectic, sad song, but there's this, there's this sense that it's like okay to just be not okay mm -hmm. in the song. So anyway, that's, I, I feel like I can't just answer that in a short way. I had to tell you this story because it's a quite a... We got, we got heavy quick here <laughs> uh, in the interview in studio. We found your music. But uh, you are dealing with real issues mm. that everyone goes through at yeah. some point in their life. Um, wow. Well, uh, thank you so much for playing it for us. Yeah. And who else is in the band? Uh, so um, this is my... Our <laughs> Sorry, this, this is my, okay. uh, they're my American band who are Aaron, who is playing um, the Moog bass uh -huh. today. And then Kevin, who is playing um, some of the samples and some of the um, bass as well. Sure. So, um, yeah, like we, we mix it up quite a bit. We kind of all just changed around quite a bit, but they are so talented and I am the luckiest person to have them. They're so amazing. <laughs> we loved how it sounded. Well, speaking of, you mentioned that they are your American band. So <laughs> well, let's, let's talk a little bit, of, a little background here. Where are you from and how long have you been playing music? Making music? Yeah. Sorry about that. Like I was a bit like caught off guard with that question. <laughs> but um, So I'm from Australia and I grew up in a small country town in Australia and I kind of got started in music through um, a radio station actually called Triple J. And so I put my demos up on um, their online called Triple J Unearthed and they started playing my songs. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's how I got started. And I, I did a bit of touring in Australia and got to play with some amazing bands. And that's been my journey so far. And then um, I wanted to develop and develop my songwriting and I felt like I had a lot more um, – rather than just indie music I wanted to write more pop music and things so I, I made the trip over to LA and I've been here for the last year and a half and just mainly songwriting and then um yeah got ready to release some of my music again <laughs> well we're very familiar with Triple J yeah. and um the music scene I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with it over there but congratulations on having some success with them over there but now they are amazingly yeah. supportive like you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, well, we hope to be as somewhat supportive. It's it's hard to compete with Triple J's amazing support, definitely, and, and the countrywide support that they provide. Um, cool. Well, so now you're here in Los Angeles. Yeah. And welcome. Thank you. Um, Thanks for having me. <laughs> congratulations. And um, so let's see. So some of your music 
So, so how do you, how do you make your music? Cause it seems very unique and, and, you know, a lot of different aspects to it, uh, you know, and, and what inspires you to do so. Yeah. I, I try to, um, write music from, um, the emotion first off. So like me as an artist, I'm always trying to, um, communicate my life experience. And I think growing up in isolation. So, um, we live like half an hour from the nearest store in oh. Australia without any internet. And so like my childhood was very much experimenting with um, like old, like I used to take my mom's old cassettes and I would chop them up mm -hmm. myself and then I would sing over the top of them and like improv over classical radio. And um, I learned piano from a junkyard piano that no one taught me how to play kind of thing. So I learned completely off ear and yeah, and so that's kind of the way that that still instilled in me to really experiment and um, just use what I have available to make a song that tells a story. So mm -hmm. that's kind of <laughs> the oh, way yeah. I write music. <laughs> and, and you've developed some, some very unique production methods as well, it seems as though. Yeah, I mean, like, we have fun. I'm, I'm and a, a long time ago, I, I used to just think, like, um, from where I came from wasn't very cool at all. <laughs> and like, and that kind of, especially in the LA scene, it's like, since being here, I was very much like, oh my goodness, this is what I always wanted to do. Like living in this small country town, moving over here. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how that beginning where you're completely isolated and you have no one to play with, how much that can create something that isn't manufactured. And I think I'm I'm really glad that I had that upbringing because it's instilled in me like this creativity for um, uh, f to serve the song rather than to try and make a hit mm -hmm. or try and be famous. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that makes sense. Although we do all want success with what we do, but <laughs> hopefully not at a price. Yeah, totally. that's cool. Yeah. Right on. Well, you're here, and um, we're excited to to have you make so much more of a presence known here in America. Yeah. Thank uh, you so much. Absolutely. It's been we'll, so good. <laughs> we'll, we'll invite you back anytime, especially if there's a new single out. So uh, the live show, I know you're going to be taking this around quite a bit to the States here. Mm -hmm. Got any shows coming up this year? <laughs> well, <laughs> actually we have one coming up, which I think you know a lot about. Yeah. It's on um, in LA. I'm playing my first headline show at the bootleg on August 31st. So that's really exciting. And we have the two boys joining me on stage and mm -hmm. um, we've got a heap of gear and it's it's so exciting for me because it's finally being able to like control how we play and what wow. we play and um, a heap of songs. And yeah, so that's, that's coming out and there's a DJ that's, that's coming. That's right. So We Found Your Music is presenting the show. <laughs> I guess we won't beat around the bush anymore. Uh, and I'll be DJing up on stage, which is very exciting for me. We have a, a great new duo called Wild and Free on the bill. Yeah. And uh, Juan's Freely, who I actually met oh. the other night. And he uh, seems like a good dude. Yeah. He actually is friends with Falls. Amazing. Good friends, close friends with well, Falls. we're all friends with Falls. There we it's go. Like all of us. <laughs> yeah. And you can check out that interview now if you click on <laughs> to the right. <laughs> uh, related videos. Anyway, back to our interview. Right? Yeah, back to so, the shows. Yeah, back to this show. So August 31st in LA. And that's going to kind of kick off uh, a lot of other shows from there, right? Yeah. I actually, I haven't announced this yet, but I'm actually supporting High as a Kite wow. in New York as well, in Brooklyn. So I'm playing with them. And then I'm headlining at the Mercury Lounge a few weeks later. Amazing. So, and then we have a couple of dates in Chicago as well. So, getting around the country, doing my thing. Mm -hmm. As you as you need to, and <laughs> and you know, it's exciting, you know, because you're getting a good positive response thus far. So let's just keep it going, huh? Yeah, let's keep it happening. Wow. So those are some great dates to go check her out throughout the nation and and um, uh, support date as well. Yeah. Um. So what else can we look forward to from you this year? Well, I've just released those two singles. I'm not sure. Have you heard For My Love before? Uh, yes, I love yeah. it. Okay, cool. I love it. Yep, yep. So we released that and Lavender Scars and mm -hmm. I have a whole EP that's coming out. 
Um, I don't have a release date yet, but um, we're just taking our time. And we've got a new single, I think, coming out next month. So okay. it, I'm going to be releasing stuff for the next two years, I think. Cool. I'll just be like smashing it out. I've got so many songs that I'm ready to get out. Just the people won't let me. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah, well, I mean, that's, it's the, you know, the system taking its course. But, you know, you probably you have a good them team. Live. You can yeah, hear them live. that would be awesome. Yeah. As for the next year, let's let's start with hearing them live and then as they come out. But there's you got some great material out right now. Of course, you just mentioned uh, Feel My Love, which is actually the the track that kind of introduced me to you, okay, awesome. which is really cool, really cool. And then Lavender Scars, which is your newest single. Mm -hmm. And you get a lot of cool blog support yeah. and um, just internationally really some mm. some great support so yeah. we're excited to be here in the beginning of your american journey and thanks again you know for coming in no worries it was <laughs> such a pleasure to play that song so thank you yeah so no absolutely well lavender scars is out now where can people find your music yeah you can hit me up on my socials my name is phoebe star but it's without an o so like that that's my catchphrase phoebe with an out without an O and star with two R's. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much, Phoebe. And uh, we will keep an eye on you. My pleasure. Thank you. Cool. Phoebe Star on We Found New Music.